Well, there are mixed grades on a new report card evaluating the mental health of young Americans, which was released earlier today. Well, health reporter Stephanie Saul joining us now with more on this new CDC report. That's right, a mixed bag for sure. You know, millions of teenagers are struggling with mental health issues. And while there have been some slight improvements, federal health officials say there is a big need for safer and more supportive schools. High school students are feeling a little better, but not by much, according to the CDC's Youth Risk Behavior Survey. In 2023, 40% of teenagers reported persistent feelings of sadness, down just 2% from 2021. The crisis of mental health among young people is still very much part of their lives. But at the same time, we're seeing glimmers of hope. We're seeing some areas of where we've been very concerned, particularly for girls, for black youth, where we're seeing improvements. Comparing data from 2021 and 23, the report shows decreases in the percentage of girls who say they experience depressive symptoms, as well as black youth who attempted suicide in the past year. I think some of it is coming out of the pandemic and reconnecting young people to the sources of support in their communities and in their schools. And then some part of it is over the last couple of years, at the federal level, at the state level, at the local level, people have really come together to address this issue. But the report also highlights some concerning increases, including more teens experiencing violence in schools and students who were bullied went up from 15 to 19 percent. About 16 percent of girls and almost 20 percent of LGBTQ plus students said they didn't go to school in the last year because they were concerned about their safety either on the way to school or at school. That kind of level of feeling unsafe has to be having an impact on mental health and well-being. And tomorrow in Newcastle, Governor Carney will sign legislation to improve mental health services in schools in Delaware. Advocates say they need a lot more of that to mm -hmm. make these schools better for kids with mental health issues. Yeah, definitely. Very important. Thank you, Steph. Uh -huh.